So, you want to use those extra bits you got from the Luda burner box, but you don't know what to do besides buy more boy parts. Uh, from either third party, third party sellers or just extra boys off eBay. Well, today, oh, there we go. We have burner parts. I've got 12? Tw yeah, 12. Um, I think that's the best I can get in focus. It's pardon my grubby little fingers. I'm a mechanic and they stay dinged and dirty. Anyway, today what we're going to review is what I got in the mail a couple days ago are these crom leg bits, some kneeling legs, and I thought these would be kind of cool. <clears throat> The running bodies from Cromleck. So let's get these bad boys out and I'll kind of give you an idea of what I want to do. All right. Uh, let's see. Hopefully the squeaky chair doesn't come through too bad. Uh, dealing with hand-me-downs. So uh, autofocus. There we go. Here's number one. These things are pretty cool. A lot of little detail, but not too much. Uh, it's not much more than more than your standard boy. The belts and the buckles and the pouches. I like the little patch of armor right here on his top. Let's see, where's the next one? Number two. Uh, and I've gotten Cromlex stuff in the past. Cleaning mold lines kind of varies. Uh, that's a cool little plate of armor on his front. More little pouches. Uh, I'm looking through my tablet right now. I don't. It's hard to tell if there is any flashing or mold lines on this one. Little bubble right here on the arm. That's probably where it was injected through. Uh, yeah, oh, it's got some teeth on there. Nice. Strappings. All right. Next, and uh, this pack comes with five. Uh, five. I got it for. $18 plus shipping? I forget exactly. Something like that. Um, I mean, you may think that's expensive for just five bodies, but these are pretty detailed. Good quality. They don't feel soft at all. I mean, it's resin. I could probably snap off this, but uh, I think it's a fair price. I mean, if you think about it, five models from anywhere else will cost you 20 or more anyway. Uh, and I've got plenty of leftover heads, that's for sure. A little armor on his boots. That's pretty neat. More teeth. I like it. Four. Yeah. Four. Oh, there's a little flash. I can see it here. Yeah. Oh, a little on his back there. Those dimples. I wonder. I wonder if that's just the mold going bad or on purpose. I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with it. Texture. Adds texture. So there's that. And the last one, number five. He's got a little scarf going on there. Uh, but yeah, my plan is to use these for the burner bits. Uh, I'm not sure how the Luda bits would do. Uh, matter of fact, I'm probably going to have to do a lot of filing and green stuff anyway to make the burner tanks fit properly. Uh, see a lot of work ahead of me. But for extra torso bits that I have, that's what I got these for, the kneeling legs. Uh, it, this comes in a six pack. I got two packs. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use all of these. Just I don't know if I want every one of them to be kneeling, if that makes any sense. Uh, and I've seen, gosh, my thumb is hideous. Let me get that out of the shot. Um, Smashed it and had to drill it out. <laughs> um, lost my train of thought. Uh, I, I've seen old World War II footage or war footage. Some, sometimes these guys will kneel. Actual flamethrower guys. Kneel down and spit that flame. Uh, these do look a bit rougher. Uh, I, I don't know why. It just seemed like they needed a good bit more cleaning. Like on the feet where the mold or the uh, resin was injected there. That's a pretty bad line. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm not too fussed about stuff like that, honestly. I, I, I usually don't. The paint kind of fills it in, and I, I don't know, it just doesn't bother me as much. Uh, 
can't tell. Are these all the same? Yeah, kind of looks like it, actually. Oh, I think it's two types. So you get three types total. Or hang on, I said that wrong. Two of one type, and there are three types total. I think. Don't don't quote me on that. I'm also an idiot and didn't really look at this. <laughs> I probably should have. Uh, but that's it. Um, it'll be interesting to see how I make this work. Uh, next time I'll bring you back when I get kind of one set up, pinned up, green stuffed up. I don't know. We'll see. Catch you in a bit. And we're back. So here's what we got. Uh... Hope this is coming up okay. Uh, it wasn't that bad. I dry fitted some of the burners on some of the running bodies, and I will have to green stuff a few of them. Well, some of them, three for sure. Uh, just the way the backpacks sit on the body with the armor plates, it just it doesn't jive very well. Uh, this one was, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna let that gap bother me uh yeah i don't think so <laughs> it, it works uh the kneeling body was actually pretty easy it he's not a lot shorter i mean orcs are already stumpy as it is where did one go here we go i got a uh, one painted up here for comparison um i mean he's just a hair shorter you can't really see it on here, but this guy is just a hair taller than the kneeling one. Uh, it's just something for variety, and I needed legs, and I couldn't really find any uh, around here. Uh, well, in the States, very easily. There's 3D printable ones, like a basic one, but I don't, I don't have a 3D printer, and I didn't feel like fussing with having friends make it and going to get it, because I work a lot, and it's hard to, hard to find time to do anything. But anyway, I, I kind of like the way it went down. Um this out of the way yeah I, I think this is pretty cool this will work um just to help do some of these extra bits i did magnetize these i don't i didn't mention that earlier uh but it was such a hassle doing it and some of the looted guns were such a tight tolerance that i was actually scraping or scratching the bodies or the the chins trying to take them on and off so i just permanently glued my lutas uh I just, so yeah so I figured, you know what, why not make these permanent as well? Let me set that to the side. Uh, but yeah, I kind of like the way it, it all went down. Um, I put a little glue on these little pouches there to help stabilize it. So the next step, I'm going to let this cure for a while, a couple of hours probably. Then I'm going to prime it up. And I think the next time I come back, these two guys will be painted. See y'all in a second. And we're back. Here's the finished result. Alright, let's get these out here one at a time. Um, I really like these running poses. Um, I don't know if burners are a good choice to show off the dynamic poses going on, but I... I like it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do all twelve. Um, we'll use all five for Berna's and the other seven that'll be left over f with the kneeling legs. I don't know. I, I want just a regular stance as well. I have to keep sourcing some legs. As I said a minute ago, uh, I just where I am right now on eBay. I just I don't see any boy legs basic ones <laughs> anywhere i don't have a 3d printer but anyway um this guy you can't really tell he's kneeling um at all well i say at all uh if you're just looking at him at him on the table you don't you don't really notice it but no i like it overall uh i have a couple of mock-ups but here it is one more time I, I i like these running bodies they're they're pretty cool I think. Uh, I don't know if I was in focus that whole time or not. Anyway, here is an idea I had. Just a mock-up. Something I did real quick. Um, 
Now, before I forget, I will say the socket for these kneeling legs is a bit large. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, I tried. Anyway, you can kind of see a little bit of a of a gap in between the yellow torso and the white resin. Uh, but I mean, it'll work. I don't know. Maybe a knob body will be better. Fill that void better. Um, a little bit of green stuff or just a whole heck and a lot of a super glue will work. But, you know, you, you could green, this is all I had. If you had like a pointing finger, it'd be like the knob pointing, hey, go over there, uh, go wah over there. Uh, or another thing I thought of is a shooter. Uh, I thought of this after I mocked this up and kind of ran out of blue tag. Uh, put a shooter on here or a big shooter. Would be kind of cool um you know i i don't know if a luda rig would work on here but that'd be kind of neat like he's kneeling down to get a better shot not that the orc really cares um but this, just to give you an idea this is something you could do uh or his right arm could be pointing with the slugger oh yeah the slugger for the the knob and the boys kit could be kind of cool with that let's put him to the side uh, next, there's just a uh, mock-up of another running body. Um, I like it. I mean, you could definitely clip parts of this shoulder here to kind of angle the arm differently. Um, uh, I mean, it, this one kind of works for right here. Um. Uh, I wish there were straight arm sluggers besides the one knob one in the boys kit. I really wish there was a boy that, that, that had his pistol or slugger drawn. Uh, that'd be kind of a cool running motion. Uh, and you could you could tilt the body uh, left or right to kind of change the pitch. He's probably going to fall off. This resin's not very good or not very tackable. Uh, there's a lot of options you can do with this. I really like these running bodies. I wish I had more, <laughs> but that would get kind of pricey. Uh, here's another option. Uh, I really like the way this one came out. It looks like he's in a running motion. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Um, at least I think it's cool. Let me get this out of the shot here. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, maybe not. But you kind of get the idea here. The running motion. I like this. I really think this is really cool. I think this is where the body would shine. The running body would shine is with just Slugga Boys, uh, Slugga Chopper Boys. Uh, or even Shooter. Maybe a Shooter would work. Uh, it's too bad. Well, I mean, you could make the Shooter work with the two arms not touching or the uh, one arm not cupping the barrel. Um, it's possible. It's doable. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, once again, you can kind of change the angle he's running or whatever. Uh, but that's it. Um, I just wanted to kind of show these parts off from Cromlech. Uh, there's probably some videos out there on it. I, I haven't looked. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I really like these, and I wish I would have found them sooner before I painted the vast majority of my army. Uh, of course, I can always add to it. But, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, uh, one thing I thought about uh, for these running bodies a tank hammer, a tank busted tank hammer would be pretty dope. Uh, him dual wielding it like he's running, uh, about to strike whatever unfortunate tank is about to receive his uh, rocket hammer. I thought that was kind of kind of neat. Uh, you guys could probably come up with other suggestions, good ideas for this. But again, I got most of these for my burners just to have some legs. Uh, uh, this has kind of spurred me on to possibly get a resin 3D printer, but I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen. That's a long, long way from now. Although, I don't know. I'm going to keep rambling. I need to shut up now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, leave them down below. And as I like to occasionally say, happy painting.